got my hitch mocked up. I'm going to start putting it in now, drilling some holes. So this is a class 2 Reese Universal kit. Figured that would be the easiest one to modify. Because no one makes hitches for these. They only have the original style, if you can even find one. It's basically just a bunch of this flat bar bent up goes down and then there's a cross member in between but they're pretty light duty so this is a class 2 and the instructions say to u-bolt it to the frame and I can u-bolt it to the frame and apparently that's okay so that's what I'm gonna do so it's gonna go up on either side here u-bolt to the frame I'm gonna reinforce the frame rail get some 8th inch plate do that on both sides. So it'll be secured directly to the frame. And like I said, I'm going to reinforce the whole frame room. Got the holes drilled for this thing. So you can see they go right in there. Come on both sides. So they go all the way down. I ended up drilling them in here. This is just sheet metal here. But since I had it so far back, I had to end up going through that. So I got that done. Got the thing bolted up, mocked in. It's going to be in a good spot. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slot these bumper mounts. So on the side here, I'm going to cut a slot on both sides. And wherever I put it. Got some quarter inch thick, one inch flat bar. That's gonna slide in there. Drill two holes in it for those bolts to come through. So that'll be over top of that. I'll pull down, bolt it to the frame rail. So the kit uses U-bolts, but this isn't really gonna work. And this is gonna be a lot better anyway. So I feel like with the more surface contacting it instead of a piece of round bar will be a little better. So I'm going to get that done real quick. Alright, I got one end notched. So you can see, this is going to slide in there. Just got to do the other side now. But that's going to slide through there, drill some holes in it, and that's going to hold the hitch from the top. We got this side done. You can see got my quarter inch plate. It's gonna go through like that. So I'm gonna transfer these two holes before I go in and then I can set them up in the drill press and drill these out real quick. Cut this down. I don't have enough for both sides. I haven't started on this side yet, but this side should be pretty easy. What I did to get into this side, because you can't really get in there with a full angle grinder, I didn't have an arbor. I had one of those really crappy harbor freight. Um, I thought it was like a die grinder, but it's, it's like a die grinder, but it only has a thread in here. So you can only screw these into it. You can't just pull the arbor out and put it into a different die grinder. So I took my arbor for my roll lock discs and I made a little adapter. You can't really see it in there, but I just took a quarter 20 nut, threaded it on here, stuck the whole thing in the lathe, turned the nut down until this sat on it nicely. Put a washer and a nut. And now I can use my nice die grinder with a cutoff wheel. So I just stuck that in there and I was able to get in there and grind it out. Got the hitch mounted to the frame. So I'm waiting to put the springs in because I don't know if I'm gonna put the braces from here up to the frame rail through the shackles. If I have enough room, it might be easier to do that. Otherwise, I'm gonna bolt them in about right here. Let's drill new holes. And then I'll go over to the frame rail. But that's gonna involve bending the brace at an angle because they end up going like this. So I'd have to bend it up there's where it's going to attach to the frame, and there's where it's going to attach to the hitch. 
a little tiny bit of wobble to it because it's at an angle. But it's not so much that it should be an issue. take the back of the car with it. So I got it mounted to the frame there. Those are the plates I made. Got those on either side. Haven't reinforced the frame this way yet, but kind of going to play that by ear, I think. I'm not sure if I'm really going to need it. These, uh, these rails in the back here are a little thicker than I thought, so it might be okay. Got those up in there holding the main part of the hitch on. Ended up mounting these through both of these pieces in order to hold this together because this main part was trying to shift on both of these end pieces because none of the factory holes to pinch it together were lining up right. So this holds it all together. Got one on each side. On this side, I had to move the brace over a little bit and cut the end off because the gas tank is offset on these cars for some reason. I've got that in there. I just cut the end off of here. This roll pan is going to need a lot of work to make it fit under here because it's, it's all hitting right here. So there's the quarter inch plates to hold the main parts of the hitch on. And I got one under here and that one there. So these, for the braces, these go through the frame rail and then this just kind of splits the weight so it goes over the whole frame rail instead of trying to punch through the floor here. So I think it's going to work. This thing is really solid. So, I just got a trailer plug for the lights. So I'm going to mount that on the roll pan here somewhere. And do a little wiring on it. So that's that. Got a trailer hitch on a 65 Mustang. <laughs> 